uh, my two recent releases. Um, one is called Relationships with Earth and Other Beings and the other one is called uh, Trauma and Forgiveness, My Journey Through Art. So um, the first one is a very very meaningful book to me. I wrote it in Mexico uh, in 2019. It was a very very interesting journey for me. So it talks about the power of human interaction and co-creation. It also talks about how we as a species um, have learned to form uh, relationships and what we have learned to expect from one another. So the main kind of uh, crux of this book is um, a realization of our um, common culture or our connection to earth as a whole and how we have come uh, to be as a species so um, there is a lot of cross references between the inner and outer states and also the global phenomena of human um, civilization upon this planet so it is kind of um, a global essence so this book has a global energy and it talks about relationships not just between uh, you and I, not just between you and your loved ones, but it actually talks about the culture behind relationship formation and what type of greed or expectation or glitch we have and how come we always uh, land on our face. So this is especially good for you if you have um, been uncomfortable about certain things, if you have been constantly creating uh, relationships that don't work, if you are in some kind of like trial and error state always, or if you have a significant part of you uh, being scorned or being uh, harvested through the need to form relationships. So this is like a book of uh, disillusionment and unveiling in a sense. And I believe that for a lot of people that have come uh, a long way in their progress um, if you have already kind of got your blinders off and you can kind of see through a lot of stuff it is a very good book for you but because it sort of bursts a lot of bubbles and it helps people see their inner inclination and their inner needs and also um, self-harm perhaps that sometimes people place in themselves and they don't even know um, because it is such an awakening book if you are not ready for it if you are still um, working within the prince and princess type of paradigm if you are still um, looking to lock in on somebody if you are still forming um, the same types of tribes or tribal based relationships that your family did um, perhaps it is not that easy so I believe this is not the easiest book to digest for anybody who has any kind of uh, preconception about what love is or a very romanticized um, epic version of who they think they are in this world so this is a very much a myth uh, busting truth uh, pushing uh, book um, it is a little bit strong so I think that um, if you are ready to really reconcile with yourself and realize your place uh, on this planet, then yes, it is a very good book. If you are um, a very free person already, it is a very good book. And if you already um, have a good understanding of what the ego is and how um, we as a culture, we as a people um, manifest through ego or through these desires, wants and needs that eventually um, turn everything <laughs> around and in the very Buddhist way, um, I suppose um, we are led to understand that everything is my, everything is illusion anyway. So yes, it does talk a lot about illusion and states of illusion. So it is very helpful if you are ready, basically. And um, of course it does talk about the phenomena uh, of twin flames and, you know, um, soulmate type of relationships, but it also like shows us as a species and what we are capable of. and. Um, if you kind of like look at the world as a whole, uh, you kind of like understand the um, preconceptions and the needs and the nurtures that we um, create in our lives. So it is more a mirror to the greater whole and the greater universe and it explores human potential also as it explores the human uh, sense of worth and also the human glitches that we are all um, co-creating so um, there is no uh, one individual here uh, it's sort of more like um, exposes or expresses the murmur of the overall and helps um, people teach themselves I suppose how to be more compassionate and more um, awakened and more um, open beings so it's a big reality check I believe this book and it is also a very very nice book for anybody who has continuously created the cycles of suffering or the cycles of romantic uh, vulnerability for their life so if you are ready to learn a little more about you and um, how 
you've come to this planet and why you're here. Um, it is a fantastic book to uh, create a better common ground and a better sense of self. Yeah.